Hi folks, hope you're doing well. Bambini's looking at me. Hello baby. Right, um okay. Just had I was just watching that film Constantine again because I saw an interview the other day with Keanu Reeves saying if there's one film he could do again or do um the next bit of that film, what film would that be? He said Constantine. And I think he's right, it's it's uh is a very good film in what it looks at. But I was just watching one bit where Gabriel is talking to Constantine saying that Constantine would go to hell because of the knife he took. Yeah, that conversation would never happen. It wouldn't. Because, as I say, look, let's take you back to the point of... <laughs> and this... Sorry... I have to laugh because when I think about the fact that people are saying to me don't talk to the people in church or anyone else about what you believe because they're not interested okay then they're complete morons they really are complete utter morons if they're not interested they really are so blinking stupid and if they don't understand yeah I didn't understand for most of the time but now I do understand because I was asking questions for years and years and years and years and years and finally God put me in the situation where I could actually have the answers and now I'm here okay um yeah and it was a massive situation yeah and as I said recently if I could go back and change things I wouldn't change a thing of it even though it was truly horrendous Yeah, imagine you losing all of your all of your family members. All of those that you love. Imagine them all being taken away from you. Bang. Oh, yeah. And it's bad enough when, like as I said, at Secret Santa, they go to people quite often who have had bereavements, and some of the bereavements are just awful, absolutely awful. Um, but imagine losing every single member of your family every single member just you left yeah suddenly boom they're gone yeah just horrendous and look as I said I wouldn't change anything it's because I know what I know now is so important but think about um, what the Lord did okay he was a lamb of God, okay, and the point of the lamb was the perfect lamb was about um, covering your sins. So, okay, the stupidity of the church. This is absolute stupidity of the church. I'm not going to judge the people in it simply because those decisions were made and have been being made for a number of years. So. I say, unless you can blame the first person who started this understanding, which you can't, you can't go back that far enough. It's not about blaming anyone, but it's about saying, God, the levels of stupidity are ridiculous. The whole point of understanding is that once that lamb has covered your sins, your sins are covered. Well, normally, until the next year, then you need another lamb to cover your sins again. So, okay. Does the Lord have to come back each year and being killed again? No. Why is that? Because he's not like a little lamb, little tiny lamb, that has no power, no authority. He is the son of God. And because he became the lamb of God, it meant that Father saw you through his blood forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. It never had to happen again. It happened once and it was so incredibly powerful it never had to happen again that's why we have a church now because what you did was so incredibly powerful now the problem is the church can admit the power what it can't admit is what the power did <laughs> it can't see it if it could just see it it would change how people think that's why it's so important because if you know that God has sinned, sinned none of your sins at all. None of them. 
So what's the point of repenting? Is it is it about your sins? No. It's about relationship with the Father. The one who sees you through the blood. It's about the relationship with Father. It's about going back to him. Because the sin we have to turn our back on God, that's the understanding. Well, that's completely accurate. Probably to sin, we, we just, we, most of the time we couldn't care less whether God's there. But if we really knew that God was there, and God was there, we wouldn't do that. So we have to turn our back on God to sin. So to repent, we turn our back on the sin, so we turn back to God. That's the purpose of repentance. As I said before, God doesn't see your sin, but he does see the issues that result from your sin, or the issues that cause your sin. He wants you to sort out those issues with his help. Not because of your sins, because it hurts you and it hurts other people. And that's the point. He loves you, and because he loves you, he doesn't want you be, to be hurt. No. He wants relationship with his creation. That's what it's all been about ever since Adam and Eve. Yeah, et of the fruit, and from that point in time, they gradually, gradually, gradually had less and less and less and less and less of a relationship with God. And certainly in today's days, people don't have that sort of relationship with God that Adam and Eve had. Is it available? Yes. Yeah. Have I got there yet? No. But one thing I have got, I mean, even today, I just say thank you to God because this little puppy is absolutely perfect for me. He's absolutely perfect. He's so beautiful and so lovely and he wants cuddles all the time and kisses all the time and well earlier i was having some food and he was basically crying saying i want that i said no so it was, he was on my bed and then he hid it after that because i didn't give me give him my food he hid <laughs> brilliant his personality already is fantastic because to do that is so incredibly funny. You don't get your own ways, so you hide away and you say, I don't want to see you. <laughs> it's hilarious, absolutely hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I gave him a few bits of the last pizza, the last bit of pizza. You right, boy? Here you go, Bob. Love you. Here you go, Bobby. Yeah. So as I say, I gave him a little bit of the last pizza. He doesn't like the crust too much. It's crunchy, and I wish he'd eat that because it's probably better for him than the um, than the the other bit. So here you go. Indeed, yeah. As I say, it's really a blessing for me, you know, to get this little puppy. When I went to get him or a dog. I didn't know if it would be a female or a male because I wasn't care about that. It was about the his character. And this one has a perfect character. Beautiful. There you go. God bless. Speak to you later. Bye-bye.